Glorious plants are going to get a dose of real sunshine today. It's time to start acclimating. And these are some Keystone Giant and California Wonder Bell Peppers. These are for some of my clients, and as you can see, they're looking really good. But it's time to start getting them used to the sunshine and temperature changes. And it's a little breezy here today. So for right now, I'm gonna set them out here on the porch for a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna take them in the greenhouse, which is registering 80 degrees this morning. And see how they do. This little area that I set them on, Let's see if we can show you. It's a little shady. It's a little sunny, a little shady. Didn't want to give them too much direct sun all at one time. This is their first adventure outside to head towards the acclimation process. And this will be their new residence momentarily. I do need to bring, uh, move my weed fabric that I pulled up and saved from the fall. So, but these shelves will house the new peppers. I've got shade cloth already above. We've tacked some new plastic. And the temperature in here right now is 88 degrees. So, I am also going to open the back window and uh, prop the door open. It is just a little too warm for a first day out. Got my special little helper in here with me. We all know that peppers love heat, but the reason I'm going to give them some ventilation today is because they've been in the house all this time. It is not 88 degrees in my house. It is about 72 to 74 most all the time. So I don't want to totally just throw them out here and let them shock um, completely. So Cash Kitty and I will be transporting the peppers out. In the greenhouse, I have a fan. I also have space heaters I could put in there for after they're acclimated if we have a cold night and heat lamps. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna let the natural breeze blow on them. Um, they're used to a fan in the house or, heat, or a heating, rotating, oscillating type heat fan. So they should enjoy today. As you can see, these are some of the larger uh, plants that I have. I gave them a good watering with fish emulsion about three days ago. So they're not over wet and uh, they're looking happy. These are some more Keystone Giants and California Wonders. Uh, these are the hardier of the pepper plants that I have so I wanted to bring them out first before I start bringing the younger ones. I have some more sensitive ones uh, or slower growing ones like ghost peppers and sun brights and things like that. Um, but these are really hardy and I'm not really worried about them and they've, they've got good stocky stems and I think they'll, they'll do well. Some of these, like these Anaheims, are still kind of really heavy wet. So I think they're going to be very happy to be out in the greenhouse where they can dry out a little bit more. Peppers don't like to keep their feet wet. So they do need a lot of moisture to, to produce, but they want it to drain and be, you know, have that drying out period. So pray for these babies. <laughs> these are my sweet banana peppers. Uh, just a few of them, I've got a lot. But these have been the most finicky uh, things to deal with this year. I don't know what the deal is, but a lot of the leaves have just kind of fallen off and they just seem 
to not be as hardy as they should be. So I'm not sure what's going on with them. I haven't done anything different with them that I've done in the year, in the year past or with the Advarskis and the bell peppers and the Anaheims and all those things. And all the other ones are doing well. And I can't say that it's a particular company seeds because some of these are Baker Creek, some are in my gardener, some have come from uh, other places. I do have some in the house that are not ready to come out that are uh, germinating of Haas tools. I've had really good germination and success with everything I've done with Haas this year. So maybe they'll be stronger plants. Maybe I need to start some seeds outside in the greenhouse and just let them grow up in there in the greenhouse. I'm not sure yet. I probably will do that. Um, just because I'm a trial and error person and I'm new to gardening. I don't know it all. I've not arrived. I can grow a few things. So, um, anyway, hopefully the transition out here over the next few days will help these babies get a little stronger. They're beautiful, their leaves are green, and they, you know, they look nice. But I have had some trouble with the sweet banana peppers. And here's some very young jalapenos. Some of them are doing really good. They're just a slow grower. These are some of my weaker link plants. As um, I've got this one tray and I'm going to be watching them closely. I may end up culling them all. I've culled some already, but as you can see, let me show you a little closer, the leaves. Something just does not look right about them. I don't know if they got too much water, not enough light, I'm not sure. There's still new growth, so I'm trying to give it a chance. Some of them are just slower growing. This is another jalapeno that should have been up with the other ones, and it's just tiny. But I'm gonna give it a chance and just see. And then I've got some that, you know, they just got some leaf curl going on. Maybe they got a little too wet. They should do uh, a revival here in the greenhouse. Otherwise, they'll be cold. This tray is some of my personal peppers, different things that I wanted to try. This is uh, Baker Creek's Yellow Monster, and it's getting pretty big. Uh, there's some pepperoncinis, some Jimmy Nordello, some Chocolate Beauty bell peppers. Let's see what else. Corno de Toro. I liked those last year. They got really big. So anyway, this is my little personal tray of just extras. I've got one more tray that I'm bringing out that is nowhere near all of the peppers that are still in the house under light and heat. But um, I don't wanna bring everything out. I'm just I'm fearful that something might happen. And so um, we're gonna see how these do first. Last tray to come out. It is a small tray. These are ghost peppers that the seeds came from Mr. Higgs at Higgs Rock Farm in Kentucky. And as you can see, they're doing fabulous. They are a slow grower. I started these on January the 5th and they're looking magnificent. And I think they're really gonna love being outside in the greenhouse. So I appreciate you watching today as we do day one of acclimation. Y'all ring that bell, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you. Came out earlier and the temperature inside the greenhouse was 40 degrees so i turned on a little space heater and a heat lamp as y'all can see come out to check on the babies before bed and the temperature is now 62 degrees in here it's supposed to be down at 38 tonight outside so this is pretty good um Probably can't get it much warmer than that because there is a open space here. But I think these peppers will be fine out here for tonight. I'm going to crank the heat up just a little bit more. Okay, it was the baby's first nights in the greenhouse. Let's check on them. Ooh, it's warm up in here. 
let's see. Oh, God, 108 degrees. We may not have done some good here. We may have some problems. Uh-oh. Okay. So, it's 46 degrees outside. And I left that heat going, and everything looks good, except for a couple. And um, I think they'll be okay once they get a little hair. So, I opened the window. I've opened the door back there, as y'all can see. And this temperature in here is dropping quickly. So, I'll probably let it drop for a few minutes and then just close the doors, but leave that window open. But this is the only one that really looks like it bothered badly. And so, I'm going to take it in the house and give it a dose of fish emulsion water. And uh, see what happens with it. We'll get that perked up. And if we don't, it's okay. This is just one of my personal peppers. But we've already dropped to 90 degrees, so we're good. I'm going to close the door. And it's back. A little fish emulsion water and a cooler temperature in the house for a little bit. And it is revived. It's going back to the greenhouse. And the temperature in the greenhouse a while ago was 70 degrees. Looks like everyone's enjoying their new digs.